So in this last example, um, we look at our numerator. See, in the last example, our numerator had a restricted domain. Does this numerator have a restricted domain? No. No, it's a quadratic, right? So do we care about what's in the numerator if it's, if it's an unrestricted domain? No. No, we only care about what's in our denominator, right? So we say, OK, well, we know that the square root of x, that means x has to be greater than or equal to 0. However, or and we know that the denominator cannot equal 0. So we've got to find the values that make the denominator equal to 0. Now, rather than solving both of these, which would be like two math problems in one, right? what we see is, guys, do we really want the inequality to be greater than or equal to 0? No, because it's in the denominator. We don't want it to be equal to 0. So if we take this away, we just say we just want the radical to be greater than 0, not equal to 0, because in this case, it's in the denominator. Over there, over here, it's fine to be equal to 0. But here, we don't want it to be equal to 0 because it's in the denominator. And if you, you know, solve this both ways by doing the quadratic form, where x is equal to 0, you know, functions undefined when x equals 0. But anyways, just to graph x is greater than 0 but not defined, there we go. It looks something like that. Um, actually, I'll have time to do it.